So Alan Party was back in the Premier League and West Brom fans can hardly contain their excitement. But is he all head butts, dad dancing and let's face it relegation? Let's ask some Newcastle fans. Alan Party, he's now at West Brom. <laughs> what do you think of him? <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. Absolute clowns. Him and John Carver, absolute clowns of both of them. I'm surprised Alan Pardio's still managing in the game, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why West Brom sacked Pulis at all, because Pulis got them mid-table mediocrity, which is what more than West Brom ever should. They should be a mediocre championship team, in my opinion. I've been to the Hawthorns, it's an absolute state. I was never a great lover of Pardio. He played far too defensive football. He doesn't suit Newcastle United. If you've ever been in the stadium, you know yourself. The crowd love winners and, and people that want to try. I, I can't understand this this club. We've had Kinnear, we've had Paul Jew, we've had Allardyce, yeah, we've had Karma. We're laughing now. We say he got us promoted, but is he really good enough? Personally, I don't think so, unless he starts changing his tactics. When you watch it, it's like watching the same game and the same tactics. It's as if there's a book and they read that book, this is the way you play at Newcastle. And these managers all play the same way, there's no change, it's all sideways football. It's never attacking football, you know, we always say it, it's not exciting. Hardrew's hit on this, but I mean, if you, if you look at what's happened in the Premier League recently, where managers get sacked from Premier League teams, and then they've gone to another Premier League team, you know. Moyes is an example, he walked, and now he's back in the Premiership again. Allardyce is all over the place, I don't know how many teams that he's managed over the years, but he's managed a few. He's retired about three times. Yeah, got a good England record, mind, and that's it. Because he always has that honeymoon period, doesn't he? He had us, he took us to fifth, he took Palace from the bottom, almost the bottom of the Premier League, which I'm sure it was a top top half finish, maybe, in his first season at Palace. So he always seems to have that, that, that impact when he first comes in, and I think he probably will again at West Brom, but over time, as we've seen with us and Palace, and maybe it's even West Ham just goes downhill. There's, there's no way he'll be in a job for the next few years. Did that right for a bit, then he dived again. Yeah, was those years one good season and one bad season. It's like look what Pod you done to us. Look what you done at Palace. Like, nah. And John Carver should not have a job in football at all. Carver was never going to be a manager in my eyes. He was not fit enough to be manager. You know, him and Steve Stone used to stand on the touchline, and Pod you, sorry, used to sit sitting in the dugout. Pod used to stand on the touchline. And then you'd get Carver or Stone would come out and hand a piece of paper to pod you. It should be the other way around, surely. It used to be as if Stone and uh, Carver were running the team, not the other way around. And I, I could never figure that out. I mean, it surely it should be Pardew going into them saying, right, I want that player on. But it never happened. Oh, well, he had a job in Cyprus and he absolutely he got sacked from that. And that's Cyprus. Like, what's the Cyprus League even called? It's it's ridiculous how he's got a job in football at all. He's an absolute clown. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.